Hey guys, this video is going to be horrible quality because it's starting to get dark. Um, I have ar my artificial light over here. If I turn it off, then I'm going to look blue. So I'm just going to leave it on. <laughs> um, I got my Urban Decay stuff today. Woo! Yeah, yeah. Um, and I was contemplating just filming it tomorrow because obviously I look like a hot, hot mess right now. So I'm like, I'll just do it tomorrow when I get all cute and stuff because I'm actually going in public tomorrow. But then I was like, no, I just want to put this stuff with my old stuff and get them all acquainted. I don't know if you guys do that with your makeup, but you just want to put them in with the old stuff. But anyway, I'm just going to get started. So sorry if it's really crappy quality, but um, if you want better, um, what is it called? Quality, then go to my blog. I'll put the link down there. Um, and I took pictures of everything and it's going to be grand. So I got everything that I bought from the sale section. I got nine things plus a sample, including tax. It was $53 and I got free shipping. So yeah, first thing I got was this. This is the vegan palette. I'm so excited. Yay. Um, I wanted this for a while actually, but it was like f almost $40. It was like 36 or something. But it was on sale for 13 bucks. I had to get it. So it comes with a little tiny primer potion in Sin. I have never tried Sin before. I've only tried original, so I'm excited. And then the palette itself, it actually comes with a 24-7 glide-on pencil in Zero, which I've never tried one of these either. I mean, I've swatched them before, but I've never used one for my face before. Ever. <laughs> Here's what the palette looks like. Oops, it's really cute. It says, we don't do animal testing, how could anyone? And it's really cute because I love animals. There's animals all over. Here's the back. And then I'll show you the inside. There's a little mirror, but I'll tilt it down so I don't blind you guys. And then that's what the palette looks like. Six colors. It comes with Minx, which is that one. URB and gunmetal. This is half baked, uh, geez, smog and twice baked. These three are in the naked palette, so those might be familiar to some of you guys. So that's what's in the vegan palette. And then I got two of these vintage Urban Defense tinted moisturizers. They're actually a lot smaller than I thought they were going to be. They're both in the color Bodyguard. I heard really good things about these, so I wanted to try one at least, but since they were so cheap and they were being discontinued because they got new packaging, I was like, I'll just get one just in case I like it as a backup. I'm glad I did because they're small and I do like these. They're one ounce. Um, yeah. And then you take off the top and then it just has like a little pump. I was playing with this one earlier. I was a little nervous because when I was swatching it, it looked orange on my skin, but then I put it on my face and it didn't look orange at all. So these were $6 a piece, and they were originally $32, I think. And then I got these. I got two um, loose pigments. These are also the same color. They're both in the color Protest. I'm a little bummed because online they looked like they were charcoal gray, and they were really pretty. But then once I got it home and started playing with it, I realized that it was actually like an army green color. Oh, my camera's out of focus. Come on. Sorry. Notice that they were like an army green color. Eh. There we go. So, yeah. And they're like metal, which uh, shocked me a little bit. And I'm not really a big fan of loose pigments as it is, but these ones have brushes inside of them, so I thought that maybe that would make me like them a little bit more. But... Not really, because A, it's really glittery, as you can see, and I'm not a big fan of glitter in the first place. <laughs> Plus, the color already sucks. And there's lots of fallout when I swatched it, and I was just like, I'm really glad I don't pay a dollar. And the reason that I got two was because if you spent $50 or more, you got free shipping, and I was on $49 with everything else, and I was like, okay, I need to spend one more dollar. So I just got another one. I'll give it. I'll give this one to my sister whose birthday is next month, and she's starting to get into makeup collecting herself. So that'd be good for her, I guess. And then I got a cream shadow, and it's in Midnight Rodeo, upside down. So yeah, 
I wasn't going to get this because I'm not a big fan of cream eyeliner or cream eyeshadows either. My camera needs to start focusing. But, um, oh well, I got it anyway. Because the color is pretty. They had a lot of colors on sale. You can't really see it through the bottle. But what I do like about it is that it has a doe foot applicator, which is really ingenious. It's great for like traveling and stuff. Really nice, but it is a little bit sheer. So if you want, it is buildable though. So yeah. And then I got a single eyeshadow. It's a matte one, and it's in chronic. Jeez, I keep putting these upside down. Um, this was the only one they had left in this color too. Well, I mean, these were only in the color chronic on sale. But I won't come out of the box. But my eyes are green, and I was like, oh, green might be cool anyway. Plus, I've been wanting to try one of their single eyeshadows. Plus, I really like matte eyeshadow. So, this is the packaging that we've all seen before. And this is what it looks like. Oh, wow. It's kind of, it's, it's just like a light green. It's not anything too fancy. It's actually pretty close to what it looks like it is on camera right now. And this is only $3. And then I got this, which is really cute. It's a baked bronzer in the color toasted. You can see my camera and everything. But it's really cute because when they packaged it, it came in like this little baking cup. Because it's baked, it took me a long time to understand that. But it's just the packaging. It's just you can throw that away. But this is the actual product. It's just a little compact. It's in the color toasted, like I said already. And even though it's a baked bronzer, it doesn't have like that baked look to it. I mean, it kind of does. It looks shimmery on camera, but it's really not in person. It's actually a really nice, natural-looking glow. Plus, it's a dome style, so you have lots of product in it. This is the only thing that really wasn't a super steal. It was $12, originally $24, so whatever. And then the last thing that I got was, oh, it's a um, Pocket Rocket lip gloss in James. Jesse, not James. I want James. It's in Jesse. Sorry. But I, I want James. So that's why I said James. Anyway, <laughs> I can't ever open this thing. Oh my gosh. Urban Decay packaging is just ridiculous. It's so hard to open everything. I don't know if anybody else agrees with me, but yeah. That's what it looks like. I know it looks kind of dark on camera. It's actually pretty close to this color in real life. It looks kind of like a brownish red, but when you put it on, it's kind of like a sheer purple. It's really interesting. Yeah, and if you guys have never seen a Pocket Rocket packaging before, it's really cool because there's a guy and he's dressed and then you tilt it and then like, yeah, he gets like undressed. <laughs> Very um, sexual. They have the back too. So yeah, and I've heard a lot of people complain that this smells like um, maple syrup, but it says on the box that it's supposed to smell like creme brulee, I think. Yeah. Infused with the yummy creme brulee flavor. So that's why it smells like sweet like that. So I mean it does, but it kind of wears off after a few minutes and whatever. And it's kind of um, a little more kinky because it says rub me all over it. You probably can't read it, but it says rub me. And then on the back it says rub me. You guys can read that for yourself. And I don't know if that actually works, if that actually attracts men or whatever, but that's what it says. And finally, the sample that I got is the Stardust Eyeshadow, I dropped it, in Retrograde and Space Cowboy. I'm not sure how this works, how if these just like rub on or whatever, but it kind of reminds me of a tattoo because like it's like peeled off plastic. Whatever. So that was my haul, sorry for the terrible lighting, and I know when I put this on my computer it's going to be really like pixely and not good like it normally is and I'm sorry and it got really dark really fast and oh my god Ugh, but I did put good pictures on my blog I'll put that down there actually I'll just put the link the direct link to this stuff down there so yeah I hope you guys liked this um sorry it was bad quality enjoy the pictures and thank you for watching bye guys